But have you ever wondered if your body can give you any warning signs before a stroke happens? Well, this video is a complete guide. I'll share with you seven signs that could indicate a stroke is on the horizon. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's crucial to seek medical attention immediately because they could be early indicators of an impending stroke. These warning signs might start showing up as early as a month before the stroke strikes. Remember, the earlier the diagnosis, the better the chances of preventing significant brain damage. Stroke risk doesn't discriminate based on age, gender, or health status. Even young and seemingly healthy individuals can be at risk. With cardiovascular diseases on the rise globally, strokes are becoming more prevalent among younger populations. In fact, strokes are the leading cause of death in the United States, claiming the lives of over 159,000 Americans annually. It's a sobering statistic that highlights the importance of recognizing and addressing stroke symptoms promptly. So, stay informed, stay vigilant, and if you notice any of these warning signs, don't hesitate to seek medical help. Your health and well-being are the precious to ignore. Come along with me today as we explore the ominous signs of a stroke, lurking just a month before its onset. Discover how to shield yourself from this ailment and steer clear of adding to the alarming statistics. The indicators manifesting a month prior to a stroke are often subtle and easily missed, leading to misunderstanding. Recognizing these cues is paramount, regardless of your age, health condition, or any accompanying ailments, as strokes spare no one. Therefore, stay alert. Sharing this video with your loved ones might just be the lifeline needed to save lives. Furthermore, I'll elaborate on the disparities between ischemic and hemorrhagic strokes, enriching your comprehension of these ailments. Moreover, I'll delve into the intricacies of a brain aneurysm, shedding light on its warning signals. It's crucial to grasp the significance of transient ischemic attacks, which may herald a stroke. Recognizing their indications could mean the difference between life and death for you or a cherished individual. Remember, if a close family member has encountered a brain aneurysm, consulting a reputable neurologist for screening is imperative, even in the absence of symptoms. This proactive measure is vital for the early detection of potential brain disorders. Wrapping up, as a bonus we'll share some handy pointers on averting strokes. But first if you think you are having a stroke, remembering the acronym FAST can be critical. Here's what to do. F. Face. Ask the person to smile. Does one side of their face droop? A. Arms. Can they raise both arms equally? Does one arm drip downward? S. Speech. Is their speech slurred or difficult to understand? Can they speak at all? T. Time. If you see any of these signs, call 911 immediately. Every minute counts when it comes to a stroke. Here are some additional things to keep in mind. Don't wait for all the symptoms. Even if they only show one of the fast signs, call 911. Don't try to drive yourselves to the hospital. Call emergency services for the fastest and safest transport. Don't give them food or drink. They may have difficulty swallowing. Stay calm and reassure the person. Let them know help is on the way. Remember, acting quickly can significantly improve the outcome for someone experiencing a stroke. Now, let's plunge into the depths and uncover the seven signs or symptoms that could surface a month prior to a stroke. If you experience any of these, prompt medical attention is paramount. Let's start with symptom number one, persistently elevated blood pressure. When we talk about consistently high blood pressure concerning the risk of stroke, it underscores the perils of long-standing hypertension. If left in check, it can significantly upsurge the likelihood of a stroke. Blood pressure essentially gauges the force exerted by blood against the walls of our arteries. When this pressure climbs, known as hypertension, it poses considerable health hazards. This heightened pressure can inflict harm on the blood vessels, leading to constriction, weakening, or even rupture over time. All of these factors substantially contribute to the risk of stroke. If a blood vessel in the brain ruptures due to high blood pressure, it can result in a hemorrhagic stroke. Similarly, if high blood pressure damages the arteries supplying blood to the brain, it can diminish blood flow or cause an obstruction, leading to an ischemic stroke. Hence, Managing hypertension is crucial, embracing a healthier lifestyle and adhering to prescribed medication regimens to regulate blood pressure are pivotal measures. These actions are indispensable for mitigating the risk of stroke and other cardiovascular ailments. Let's talk about symptom number three, vision problems. If you notice any sudden alterations in your vision, it could serve as a warning sign. Blurry vision, double vision, eye issues, or difficulty focusing might indicate circulatory damage in the brain, signaling a potential stroke. 
while there can be various reasons behind vision problems, it's crucial not to dismiss these symptoms. Vision loss, for instance, could stem from the blockage of an artery that supplies blood to the eye, often pointing to an ischemic stroke, the most common type of stroke. Therefore, it's imperative to take such changes seriously and seek prompt medical evaluation. Let's address symptom number four, sudden and severe headache. Experiencing a sudden and intense headache could potentially precede a stroke. However, it's crucial to understand that not all headaches are linked to strokes, and not all strokes are heralded by headaches. In ischemic strokes, the headache typically arises due to the obstruction of blood flow in the brain. These headaches, when present, are described as severe and sudden. On the other hand, in hemorrhagic strokes characterized by bleeding within the brain, the intense headaches result from increased intracranial pressure due to the bleeding, which elevates brain pressure. Witnesses of stroke incidents often describe observing the affected person clutching their head, displaying signs of intense pain, followed by a loss of consciousness. This reaction is particularly common in hemorrhagic strokes, where the headache experienced is often described as the most severe in the person's life. Sometimes, a severe headache could also indicate an imminent risk of an aneurysm rupture within the brain. Therefore, it's crucial to be vigilant and seek medical attention promptly if you experience such symptoms. Let's discuss symptom number five, numbness or weakness in the body extremities. Experiencing numbness or weakness in the extremities, especially on one side of the body, could potentially be a warning sign before a stroke. These symptoms may become evident during a transient ischemic attack TIA, which is a temporary condition characterized by reduced blood flow to a part of the brain. This sudden numbness or weakness typically affects a single body part, such as an arm, leg, or one side of the face, leading to decreased sensitivity. Although these symptoms often last for just a few minutes to a few hours, they should never be disregarded. Whether they signal a stroke or another neurological issue, immediate medical investigation is crucial. Let's talk about symptom number six, speech problems. A person on the verge of experiencing a stroke might suddenly encounter difficulty speaking. This can present as slurred speech, struggles in articulating words, or difficulty forming complete sentences. Such challenges are categorized under aphasia, which is defined as the impairment in understanding, formulating, and expressing speech. Let's discuss symptom number seven, neurological problems. Individuals teetering on the edge of a stroke, whether it's hemorrhagic or ischemic, may display a range of neurological symptoms. These can include memory issues, loss of balance, as well as nausea and vomiting. These symptoms may emerge a few days or even weeks before a cerebral event. However, it's important to note that various other conditions can also present similar symptoms, which can complicate the diagnosis process. Conditions such as migraines, seizures, hypoglycemia, brain tumors, anxiety attacks, and infections in the central nervous system, for instance, can all evoke these symptoms. Therefore, it's imperative to seek guidance from a qualified doctor for a comprehensive evaluation to accurately determine the cause of these symptoms. Let me tell you about taking time bombs in the brain. Cerebral aneurysms, those ballooning weak spots in your arteries, can burst and cause a nasty stroke. Most people walk around with these things and have no clue until WHAM. Stroke City. Scary, right? But here's the thing, there can be warning signs. Headaches, vision problems, even numbness. Think you might have one. Don't wait. Get to the uh, fast. Early detection is key. The good news, not all aneurysms pop. Many folks live with them peacefully, but knowledge is power, people. If a family member had one, let your doctor know. Early checks might save you a whole lot of trouble down the road. Let's explore the distinction between ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke. The variance between these two types lies in their origins and their impacts on the brain. An ischemic stroke occurs when there's a blockage in the blood supply to a part of the brain. This blockage can stem from a blood clot that forms elsewhere in the body and then travels to the brain, or it can result from plaque formation in the brain's arteries. A common example of a condition that leads to clot formation is atrial fibrillation, a type of heart arrhythmia that disrupts the normal flow of blood through the heart. When combined with other factors, atrial fibrillation significantly heightens the risk of clot formation within the heart chambers. These clots can then migrate to the brain, causing an ischemic stroke. Hence, atrial fibrillation is a cardiac arrhythmia often associated with ischemic strokes. Alternatively, in the case of obstruction by plaque, there's an accumulation of fat in the formation of atherosclerotic plaque, which obstructs blood flow in the brain. This can occur in patients with elevated cholesterol levels. 
high blood pressure, diabetes, and those who smoke. When blood fails to reach a part of the brain, the cells in that area can become deprived of oxygen and nutrients, leading to brain injury. This type of stroke, known as ischemic stroke, is the most common, representing 85% of all cases. Let's delve into the dynamics of a hemorrhagic stroke. This type of stroke involves a leakage of blood into the brain. It happens when a blood vessel in the brain ruptures, allowing blood to seep into areas where it shouldn't be. This leakage can exert pressure and inflict damage on the surrounding brain cells, potentially leading to various complications. In summary, while an ischemic stroke entails a blockage in blood flow, a hemorrhagic stroke involves a leakage of blood into the brain. Both types of stroke are grave and necessitate immediate medical attention to mitigate future damage. Want to keep your brain sharp and healthy? Let's talk about preventing strokes. These can be scary, but there's a lot we can do to lower our risk. First up, keep that blood pressure in check. If you have diabetes, managing your blood sugar is super important too. Think of it like keeping your brain's engine running smoothly. Next, let's move that body. Aim for at least 150 minutes of exercise a week. Think brisk walks, bike rides, anything that gets your heart pumping. Food is fuel for your brain too. Load up on fresh fruits and veggies, ditch the processed stuff, and go easy on the sugar, bad fats, and alcohol. Think colorful plates and less takeout. Smoking, it's time to quit. Those cigarettes are not your brain's friend. Finally, catch enough CCCs. Sleep is essential for overall health, brain included. Regular checkups with your doctor are key. They can monitor things like cholesterol and keep an eye on your heart. Health prevention is always better than cure, right? So there you have it. Simple lifestyle changes can make a big difference in reducing your stroke risk. Just a friendly reminder, this video is intended for educational purposes only. If you have any concerns about your health, always consult your healthcare provider. Please give this video a thumbs up and consider sharing this valuable information with your loved ones to stay informed about health and well-being. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest content. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.